going to ask you 73 questions in a ridiculously short amount of time. Are okay. you ready? I guess so. As ready as ever. How are you today? Fine. I think I'm coming down with the flu. Oh, not good. No. <laughs> Where were you born? Uh, Canada. Prince Edward Island, Canada. Nice. Uh, how did you meet? In an elevator. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> how long have you been together? Since the elevator. <laughs> Seven years, I think. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. Cats or dogs? Oh, dogs. Cats. <laughs> Least favorite gift you've ever received? Uh, probably... Gift card, I think. Yeah, gift card. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Sweet. Favorite food? Pizza or chocolate. Thai food, curry, spicy food. How many children do you have? On yeah, the record, I think we have two. two. <laughs> What's the most important thing you've taught your child? To be a good person who appreciates the humanity of other people. I would say to be kind, yeah. TV show you watch together? Brooklyn Nine-Nine, sure. which I'm embarrassed to say. Yeah. I love that show. Plan things are spontaneous. A little of both for me. I like spontaneous. Winter or summer? Winter. Summer. Favorite song? Uh, something by Willie and Lobo called Gypsy Passion. Nice. Something by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Favorite Disney character? Disney. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rafiki. Favorite movie? Ooh, favorite movie. Uh, Life Aquatic. What's your favorite childhood memory? Uh, playing in a field with my parents on a sunny day. Nice. What's your, what is your go-to breakfast? Uh, bacon, eggs, and toast. Favorite math topic? All of them? Like calculus? Hot weather or cold weather? Cold. Circles or squares? Mm, hard to choose. Circles. What fact amazes you every time you think of it? Every time I think of it? That we took a picture of the Earth. We took a camera to space to take a picture of the Earth. Favorite biology topic? Uh, stem cells. Uh, I would go with CRISPR. <laughs> What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Move to a new country without knowing the language or where I was going to live. Wow. Comedy yeah. or drama? Comedy. Drama. <laughs> what would be the title of your autobiography? Worked hard, was nice, had fun. Sure. <laughs> What's your favorite book? Uh, either Blank Slate or Enlightenment Now by Steven Pinker or Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Billions and Billions by Carl Sagan. Favorite quote? Work hard, be nice, or why the worry I'd rather wonder. What is, oh sorry. Oh, she I was going to say, too. it doesn't matter, it, the beauty of science is it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in it, it's still true. Oh, that's a really nice quote. I like that one too. What is something you think that everyone should do at least once in their lives? Deeply know the value of what it means to be loved and to love someone. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> High school or college? Both. Both. <laughs> why math and why biology? It's a good question I don't know the answer to. I had good professors in university that really turned me on to the subject and I wanted to keep studying with them. Cake or pie? Pie. Cake. Favorite number? Eight. Three. If you had to lose a body part, what would you lose? Finger hair. <laughs> it grows on me. It's a body part, yeah, therefore. Probably hair somewhere. <laughs> Sweet potato fries or french fries? Sweet potato. All french fries every time. If you had a tattoo, where and what would it be? Tattoo? I had a tattoo. And it was uh, a shark because I used to swim on swim team. And my friends, my teammates and I went when we were 19 and got a tattoo before a big meet. It was a bad decision though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, I never thought about it that much. What is special about the place where you grew up? Uh, love. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a small town and a small island where I grew up. If life is a game, what are some rules? To learn how to make your own and negotiate them with others. Hopefully they're good ones.
Where, what three things would you tell your high school self? Relax, but keep working hard, and make good. Keep keep in touch with your friends if you can. Keep making good choices. Do you have any nicknames? I was called Whitey in high school because my gym teacher <laughs> mistaken me for the son of, of the wrong wheelchair referee basketball coach or uh, wheelchair basketball referee. My it was dad, my dad's partner. Oh yeah. My dad calls me Emmy and he's the only one that's allowed to call me that. So. Yeah, I don't call you that. Fractions or decimals? Both. Decimals. If you could grow up in any decade, which would you choose? No. Probably about 100 years from now. Yeah. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> which celebrity would you rate 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10 on what scale? Anything. Intellect. George Church. You have Christopher to look him up. Hitchens for uh, perspicacity. Would you rather be 4 feet tall or 8 feet tall? Can I average them? Uh, math answer. <laughs> Eight feet tall. Uh, funniest teacher in school? At this school? I think Mr. Stack's pretty funny. But I, I hope I he doesn't watch that. I hear Mr. Stack's really funny. I don't know him that much. I don't know. I like Mr. Yu. He's pretty awesome. What was your first job? Uh, tech support over the phone. Teaching swimming lessons when I was 15. What is your dream location? Side of the lake. Singing or dancing? Singing. Or dancing if no one's around. <laughs> Who always wins arguments? Emily. I would say you. You always win. <laughs> what are you talking about? Thank you. <laughs> Who is messier? He is. Definitely. I say it depends. <laughs> What's an ideal weekend for you? Uh, sleeping in, even if it's just until 7.30, because we have two small kids. Are you a night owl, owl or an early bird? I'm an early bird. Changes. Three things you would tell your 15-year-old self. There's a 12-year-old self as well? Don't worry about getting your driver's license when you're 16. You can wait. It's fine. I have no idea. That's just one thing. But it's still the same. It's still the same as the earlier question. If you were on an island and could only bring three things, what would you bring? A boat? with lots of fuel and a very good map. <laughs> and cool drinks and sunscreen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the message you want to leave to students in your class? Humanity that we share is the most important thing. We always look for that first. What's your favorite thing about Geneva? Families here? Yeah. And I do like the lake and the mountains and how everything is so close. Least favorite thing? Smoking in public spaces. Mm, yeah. Disgusting. What flavor cake did you have at your wedding? We didn't have a cake. Kind of got all got our own. Yeah. So I don't even remember. <laughs> we went to a restaurant and we ordered our own dessert. So, yeah. yeah. It was a very small wedding. How long had you been dating before you got engaged? Two years. Sure. Yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about each other? Uh, he's very reflective and he reads a lot, so he's a very good conversationalist. I love your intellect, uh, but I also am blown away by the ability that you have to get things done. It's insane. What would you like to be remembered for? I don't have an ego that big. I haven't thought about it yet, so I don't think about being remembered. Can you do your best impression of each other? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd do. I'd walk around in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that good? Yeah. Skiing or snowboarding? Skiing. Skiing. <laughs> Favorite holiday destination? The side of lake. How long have you been at Echo Mint? Since 2015? Yeah, this is our fourth year, my fourth year. Yeah. Right. Favorite animal? Dog. 
Or a hippo? I like all animals, I'm a biologist. If you could only buy one thing from the supermarket for the rest of your life, what would you buy? One thing? I can only buy that? Pizza. Yeah, pizza. TV shows or movies? If I can make them, TV shows. Yeah, TV shows. What's your biggest pet peeve? Unnecessary white lies. People smoking. What's your favorite way to relax? Anything that gives you quiet mental space. Even if that's running. Yeah, running, going for a hike. What are you going to do as soon as this interview is over? Teach class. Yeah, probably go home and have lunch. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Yay. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. Bye.